short video uh, to identify some of the gaps that I have seen with DevOps and uh, cloud engineers. But before we jump into uh, the the real topic, uh, what I have noticed a lot of people watch the videos, but not enough uh, subscribers yet. So uh, just a, a sort of request uh, that you know, uh, if you are watching and liking the content, um, you can join uh, our uh, uh, WhatsApp and Telegram groups as well, where I don't spam. I usually send small one sort of notification two three days about the videos that we are publishing, any any changes we are uh, bringing to the YouTube channel, etc. So do uh, you know subscribe if you are liking the content. Uh, coming back to the uh, subject, uh, wanted to talk about one of the key gap that I have seen with a lot of candidates that I am interviewing uh, or I'm working with them as well. The key gap is their Linux operating system uh, skill set. So uh, while they are they get to learn a lot of Terraform and Sybil, um, but what I have seen is that if they have to investigate something, they have to troubleshoot an issue. They do spend or struggle a lot, a lot, lot of the time. So the struggle is basically they are trying to understand the problem and also their their troubleshooting skills on the Linux operating system are not great. They are not able to look at the processes. They are not not able to look at the uh, storage options. Uh, basic stuff, not able to investigate, not able to identify the log file where the logs are uh, not able to. You know, find out the uh, those specific things in in a very large log file. So these are some of the cases that that I just wanted to highlight, but then there are a lot of other issues. Process is stopped, how to start that, uh, those kind of issues. So what the, what I want to highlight is that before you get into all these other areas of uh, DevOps and cloud, build that Linux operating system knowledge that is very crucial for not only interviews, but also for your day to day job as well. So uh, what happens is that uh, uh, in, in the uh, in the industry, uh, you you don't use a lot of Windows servers at all. They are mainly for some graphical uh, kind of uh, requirement. I would say 0.01 percent. Rest 99 point uh, some percentage is usually on on Linux uh, side of it in different flavors. We will we'll get to that uh, as well. So the the idea is that uh, you should build the skills, but how do you do that? Uh, should you do a course about it or should you do some classroom sessions with it? It's, it's not really required. So next question everybody would have is like, how do we do that? So I would suggest make it part of your lifestyle, make it part of your day to day operations. Uh, whatever you are working on your Windows environment or or any such uh, your day to day job on your personal laptop have do it through Linux operating system. If you have a personal laptop and you have the liberty, you should install maybe Ubuntu or any other flavor of uh, Linux there. You, you get all the other features. You, you can have uh, Firefox and other browsers there and all other uh, accessibility to Internet. Everything is there. It's just uh, you will be close to it because we, we never spent any time learning uh, Windows operating system, right? We, we never uh, put any dedicated effort to learn Windows or, or Microsoft applications. So same uh, approach if we apply, we, we stay close to Linux in our day-to-day -day job. Uh, in future, it will help us in interviews and in our day-to-day -day job as well. So uh, that's the uh, analogy that, uh, you know, you have to be comfortable with it just just like if you have to learn swimming, you have to be just comfortable with the water first. So uh, that is the objective. Which flavor of operating system that you should uh, target depends on uh, which companies you are going to target or you are currently working on. So if your companies are uh, a banking, financial, insurance kind of companies, they are all large enterprises. They will be uh, they will prefer Red Hat uh, being the operating system. So it's just a different flavor. Uh, they use uh, a, a different uh, uh, sort of uh, package manager. Uh, so some commands will be different. Uh, you can, uh, when you are containerizing the application, your base image will be different. Uh, 
and then some of the commands that you follow will be different. Uh, if your customers uh, or you are working right now in a startup and you are going to target small to medium companies, uh, you should focus a bit on Ubuntu. Um, that's a bit of uh, lightweight, uh, easy to get started. Uh, so that's that's the startup mindset usually. Is. So so you should focus a little bit on that. I also noticed uh, uh, that. Uh, I'm not sure a lot of people uh, may know it already that Ubuntu is available on Windows itself. So you can uh, you can download uh, this this operating system through uh, the Microsoft Store on your Windows laptop itself. And through that uh, you perform your day to day operations, your containerization, your pipelines and Terraform and Git repository, everything you drive through the Ubuntu terminal on your Windows laptop. So that's that's also uh, uh, one of the uh, easy option to get started. So just stay connected to it, build your skills in this, find out the right use cases where Linux is useful uh, in the industry. And uh, just 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 keep practicing it. Uh, you don't have to do a specific course or spend dedicated hours learning Linux and uh, and this operating system as such. And this this itself will will add a lot of value to your uh, uh, resume and uh, your vocabulary as well. What I have seen successful DevOps and cloud engineers, their Linux skills were very good when they started. So if that that uh, base, uh, what we usually call right, uh, that base is strong, then the outcome or whatever new learnings have to happen, those are quick. And um, that, then you you actually in DevOps space, there are so many options, right? So if your base is strong, then all other things become easy for you to learn. So with that in mind, just add this skill set to your resume and uh, make sure you spend a lot of time uh, practicing your day-to-day -day stuff, working on your day-to-day -day activities. Thank you. Bye.